So first we have to write the formula for DC output voltage. Uh, VO is equal to 1.25 in bracket 1 plus R2 upon R1. Okay. So here I am taking R1 is equal to uh, 330 ohm. R1 is equal to 330 ohm and R2 is equal to uh, 1 kilo ohm. Okay. So 1 kilo ohm means 1000 ohm. So first we have to convert kilo ohm into ohm. It is 1000 ohm. So see here VO is equal to uh, 1.25 in bracket 1 plus uh, 1000 divided by 330. Okay. Then see here 1.25 in bracket 1 plus uh, 1000 divided, divided by 330 um, it is a approximately equal to 3 point C here 3 point uh, C here approximately 3 approximately 3 then 1.25 into 4 okay that is equal to approximately 5 volt okay 5 volt okay so when R1 is equal to 330 ohm and when R2 is equal to 1 kilo ohm, uh, we should get output 5 volt DC. Okay, according to this formula. Okay, first we have to calculate the DC output voltage and then we have to measure. Practically, we have to observe that uh, uh, DC output voltage. It should be nearly equal to 5 5 volt. Okay, then. Uh, Second observation number two. See here. Here this is the observation table. Here we have to write R1. R1 is equal to 330 ohm. R2 is equal to 1 kilo ohm. And we have to write here calculated DC output voltage. And then observe. Observe means practically. Okay. Then select uh, different. Uh, select uh, another two resistors as R1 and R2. Okay, so see here I am taking R1 is equal to uh, R1 is equal to 1 kilo ohm and R2 is equal to 2.2 uh, kilo ohm. Okay, see here here I have already I have taken R1 as 330 ohm and R2 is equal to 1 kilo ohm. Then by calculation we get output 5 volt. Okay, then I am taking another combination of another second combination. Here I am taking R1 as 1 kilo ohm and R2 as 2.2 uh, kilo ohm. Then what will be the DC output voltage? Then again write the formula VO is equal to uh, 1.25 in bracket 1 plus 2.2 uh, kilo ohm, convert it into ohms. It is a uh, 2200 ohms and 1 kilo ohm is 1000 ohm okay therefore fuel is equal to 1.25 into 1 plus uh, 2.2 hmm? therefore 1.25 into uh, 3.2 okay 1.25 into th uh, 3.2 so here see here 1.25 into uh, 3.2 means uh, 250 plus uh, 375 okay 0 it comes 4.0 volt 4.0 volt okay by calculation or by using this formula hmm? uh, by calculation the DC output voltage is 4.0 volt 4.0 means 4 volt okay then I am taking another combination see here I am taking uh, R1 is equal to R1 is equal to 2.2 uh, kilo ohm and R2 is equal to uh, 1 kilo ohm okay R1 is equal to 2.2 kilo ohm then again you have to write uh, formula for the DC output voltage, VO is equal to 1.25 into this is the first, this is second, and this is third. 1.25 into 1 plus R2 upon 
R1. Right here, R1 is equal to uh, 2.2 kilo ohm. 2.2 kilo ohm. That is 2,200 ohm. Then R2 is equal to uh, R2 is equal to uh, 1 kilo ohm. That is 1,000 ohm. Then substitute these values in this formula 1.25 in bracket 1 plus uh, 1000 divided by 2200 ok so 1.25 into 1 plus 1000 divided by 0.45 okay so okay so 1.25 1 point 25 into uh, 1.45 okay 1 point 25 into 1 point 45 so use log table here by using log table we can calculate this so log of log of 1.25 plus log of 1.45 log of 1.25 plus log of 1.45 so see here, see here 0. Point 0.0969 log of 1.25 is 0 0.0969 0 0.0969 plus again here is 0 1 minus 1 that is 0 0. Point 14 चा 5 मदे 16 चा 14 So see here 0 0.0969 plus 0 0.1614 It comes 0 0.2583 0 0.2583 Then we have to take its antilog Ok So antilog of 0.25 is a 8.3 mode Antilog 0.25 is a 8 8 akra Ani 1 8 bar So here we get uh, 1.82 1.82 volt Ok 1.82 volt Ok So we should get the DC output voltage 1.82 For this combination When R1 is equal to 2.2 kilo ohm And R2 is equal to 1 kilo ohm We should get the output 1.82 volt Ok